This will be right around where your AC's at. What I was going to show you mm -hmm. is it only measures the moisture between these two pins. So when I have it on that mode, I'll hit about 18 to 20% just on my finger. See? Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, if I actually poked it into my skin, yeah, of course, it, yeah. will, it will read 100%. <laughs> Well, it's, at least it's not the beginning of August where it was. Oh, yeah, it's showing. That's wet. That's definitely wet. Change this over. Really do zero, so. This is where dry. we're dry. And I go right here. You can see that right there. It's really it's wet. Dry. Yeah, it's really wet right there. Here, let's dry. Okay, this goes. So your kitchen's right over here. Yeah, probably right under this platform. Yeah, right. okay, you can sit right here too. Because mm -hmm. it was overflow. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it, now it it's overflow. drying. It, it takes time to dry. It, it's trying to now. And then that one is your kitchen. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's That's good. Mm -hmm. That's within a standard that I can definitely feel the seam. That's even got a hole in it. Well, maybe back there. Okay. Skip me one second. At least I can look. Okay. That's a little elevated. It's not terrible. But you want to have drywall within a... 16.5. Uh, uh, you want to have it down less than 12. Oh, yeah, but that one is higher. It's, it's, it's wet. I just got my fingers wet. I'm surprised I'm not even higher than that. Um, 25. Yeah, okay. yeah. Condensation that comes off of this. Now this this is pretty well insulated, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. Okay. This is where your HVAC system is. Yeah. And it's this line right here uh -huh. that there. you want to try to get. That's what I want to see. This one right here is what you want to get the vinegar down. Usually there's a vent that comes off of it. You I pour it straight know down. How to open that main line? This here is threaded on there, and it's pretty well connected. Yeah. Uh, so, well, if they could put a T in here, T ah, okay. Where you could do it anywhere in this line, they could put a T. Yes. And have it come up where you can uh, put a okay. cap over it. Just keep it closed. Yeah. And then when you want to put some vinegar put some or something vinegar. or cleaner down it to clean all that out. Yes. You can do that without taking this panel off, coming inside and doing yeah. it that way. I will ask them to, I hope they can, they can install that. So I'll be putting one of these up in your, your, uh, in your attic. First, what is this? These are air movers. Oh my God. So these push them What does this do? The, the, all they do is move air. Okay. Like a fan in your house. But this is a fan in a house on, on steroids. This thing pushes okay. about 3,000 cubic feet of air per minute. Oh. Your fan in your house is only pushing about 120 to maybe oh. 170 maximum uh -huh. uh, cubic feet. We're talking about thousands. So it's a lot stronger than the ones in your house. Nice. It's called a dehumidifier. And De this right here, here. Okay. That's... this piece of equipment works just basically like your home HVAC does. They were designed and they were made by the person that was trying to figure out a way to make home AC units. Yeah. So that's how they came up with it. Oh, wow. So that coal you're talking about, there's yeah. one in here and it's all the way down here. Okay. okay. Yeah, I can see the filter right there. So all the air comes in here. Uh huh. It comes out through the front of it. Uh, I'll this to you. Okay. I so see. the air comes in here. The air comes in here, mm -hmm. goes through the filter so I can keep my machine clean. Mm -hmm. So it goes in here, it comes down. Um, it hits the condensing coils and those condensing coils condense the air just like your your home HVAC does and what it does is it condenses it, it forms water droplets because it gets the air colder yeah and if it, it'll condense and it'll form droplets once it goes across that condensing coil it goes over a warmer 
Oh. The warmer then dries that, dries the remaining air. Yeah. And it blows that dry right air out, out the bottom. Oh. So that air comes out of the bottom is drier than the air coming in. I see. Thus, what we're doing is we're removing the moisture. Okay. Okay. So that this piece of equipment, this air mover, uh -huh. what it'll do is help what we call laminate air. Oh. Um, laminate air... I don't have a piece of paper right surface. So let's say it's wet. Okay. I'm going to put air across it, and that air is going to flow like this. And when that air flows across it, what it's going to do is create lift off of this. It's going to cause it to rise. Well, that's pulling the moisture up in the air. When that moisture comes up in the air, the heat dehu sucks it in, oh. gets rid of it. We put dry air back out here. And then go. And just keep repeating the cycle. Amazing. I, I like okay. that. Okay. So, now um, I know. That's how this equipment works together. Yes. Okay. Um, if you had a Absolutely. dirty loss, uh, you know, a category three loss or whatever mm -hmm. like that, I would place that piece of equipment down there, okay. that blue thing down there, but we have no need for it. All right. And that is that is what we call an air scrubber. We've got everything we need. Uh, what do you call this again? Air movers. Air movers. You can read it right here. It says radial air mover. Okay. Take a picture. There you go. Um, and th these only radial move air. air. That's all they do. They're oh, just a fan. An air mover. Okay. That's the big one. Okay. Um, they push a very large volume of air. Wow. Um, you, the owner, okay. are authorizing us, Target Solutions, mm -hmm. to perform the work and services. When do I plan on getting this this uh, part of it done? I'm just going to say the September. 6th, which is the Tuesday Thanks. after yeah. Labor Day. Uh, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be doing work, what is called the mitigation, which is the dry out and demo. Okay. Okay, um, I need a signature at that. I'm gonna remove a little bit of insulation. Uh, it's blown in cellulose, so it's not too bad. I do have some bad insulation that we gotta remove underneath the eight. Hi. 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 Upstairs. Wow. Hey guys, I just want to see what they did here. So, guys, I will show you. The people are gone. Oh my god. Okay. learned something today because this one is a lot of work so this one it will uh, takes about six days so they're gonna take it out next week Tuesday so from today Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and then Tuesday so total of six days all right it's on process